loads of miles 40 40 here and today in this video we're reviewing um the um mid 2010 um macbook pro um with a new um intel um core i5 um processor um 2.4 um uh, ghz um this also has some um, 4 gigs of ram um and i'm just going to be showing you um some um, new ways this computer looks um and um, the speeds of the computer um, and some probably the main thing in this is the new i5 processor but also the trackpad is really nice in this um, I think um, some older models like the 2009 one had too um, this Mac is a lot faster than um, um, older um, models like um, the late 2007 one which I had almost 40 unfortunately um, well it was um, replaced anyway um, and um, uh, it was faulty for quite a long time um, because of the um, graphics cards um, which um, was replaced and was still faulty. Anyway, um, uh, this is a pretty nice graphics card. Um, it's not that much better um, than the one that was um, here before, but still it's um, very good. Um, it has um, two graphics cards. I um, can um, show you um, in about this Mac if you want. Um, go to more info. Um, yeah, this is 2.4 GHZ. Um, so, um, uh, this is MacBook Pro um, 6.2. Um, so, if I can find um, graphics displays, I'll show you on which graphics card it has. Um, it has Intel HD graphics, um, and of course, um, there are quite a lot of different Intel cards. Um, it actually has more um, VRAM. Than the more powerful cards, um, but um, of course, um, video RAM um, isn't the main thing about graphics cards. Um, the resolution is also the um, same which um, other graphics cards, with old, more older ones, supported, which is um, 1440 900. Okay, so um, we'll be um, showing you the um, trackpad first. Um, so I just open up something like a desktop um, and applications. I um, swipe three fingers to the left, it'll go back, and if I do that again, it'll still go back. I can um, swipe three fingers to the right um, a few times to go forward. Um, as you can see, you can zoom in, um, just like an iPod Touch, an iPhone, and an iPad. And this also works in um, Safari and Preview, um, but in Safari, um, um, it's some um, quite long gaps, um, so you need to um, do this quite a lot, so it will change. Okay, so um, you can switch applications really easily by just swiping all things to the left or right. And then you can use the arrow keys tab or, or just click on the application you want to switch to. Um, also, um, there's um, really another nice feature um, of the trackpad, which is you can swipe four fingers down and you um, switch to expose there because it's a bit annoying pressing something on the keyboard and FM. Um, you can do this to um, swipe it up with four fingers, and um, you can see the desktop. So it's quite nice if you want to open, if you're on Final Cut, um, the window's full, and you want to open something on the desktop. Okay, so I'm going to just show you some application startup times. Preview is basically instant or half a second. Um, iCal, almost instant too. Um, and I'll just show you the um, speeds of opening up um, a image um, file. So this is just a fresh install. Okay, so as you can see, it opens um, about 0.4 seconds. Um, you can zoom in, um, like I showed you in Finder. Um, you can zoom into different places, um, and um, sometimes the zoom in doesn't work amazingly well. Um, you can scroll with three fingers down. Um, to move between things um, and um, if you just use two fingers then it just won't work um, so this is a new feature um, I'll show you some other application startup times um, I'll show you iMovie um, which is a fairly simple movie editing program um, and we'll just quit it um, I'll show you GarageBand and the on older Macs, um, this took a lot longer to start up. 
Okay, so we'll just close it now. Um, and I'll just show you the um, graphics cards, um, show you the frames per second of something in Grapha. Okay, so um, I'll just make a new 3D graph um, with a frame. And we choose that. So um, you can see the frames per second is very good. <coughs> now we'll go to examples and something like Lawrence Attractor. So you can see the frames per second are fairly good, so um, you can go to Vector Field and the frames per second are still very good. Okay, so um, I'll just quit everything and quit this application. And I'll just show you some um, new th um, things for how this computer looks. Um, the screen over here is very thin, um, it's probably about as thin as the MacBook Air. So um, maybe it uses the same type of screen, but maybe a different size. Um, and um, the power thing, the power cord um, is a bit different. Um, as you can see here, um, it's um, fairly new, but the old ones work too. Um, test it also. Okay, it's not very easy to put it back on this size. Um, and um, as you can see, this thing here is new. Um, the sleep light has changed. Um, CD drivers on the right now, um, and some other ports like Firewire 800 on the left. And um, there's um, a camera on the top with the microphone. And um, uh, this, um, the shape of it is a bit different. Anyway, thanks for watching this tutorial. This review, please. Rate, comment this video, please subscribe and check out the videos and tutorials.